If your front-end experience is more than four years, then you might see these advanced React questions in your next interview. So let's get started. Micro front-end techniques for building a modern web application with multiple teams that can ship features independently. So for example, in Flipkart, so which is a use a website, right? And building the entire website for a single team might be very tough job. So there might be teams who only takes care of the cart functionality. There could be a team which only talks about the offers which are displayed to the user. There could be a team which takes care of the buy now and the checkout and the payment stuff, right? So these teams works independently and build this use website. That is micro front end. A mono repo is a single Git repository that holds a source code for multiple applications and libraries. These applications often logically independent and run by different teams. Companies like Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and Twitter are known to run large mono repos. For example, in an e-commerce website, there could be a team one who takes care of the payment functionality in the application. A team two, which only responsible for displaying offers to the customers and a team three only talks about the product displayed to the to their customers. Right. So now these three teams can work independently and keep pushing their code to the single Git repository. Correct. Right? There are so many benefits of using mono repo. Let's discuss them. Number one, visibility. Everyone can see everyone else's code. Number two, sharing dependencies. So one person in a team or uh, some members of a team can create a library and push it to the single Git repository. And then anyone in any team who needs that library can import that and use that. So sharing dependency is super easy in monorepos. Number three, consistency. Enforcing code quality standards and a unified style is much easier when you are working with mono repos. Number four, unified CI CD. Same CI CD deployment process for every project in the repo can be implemented. Number five, unified builds. Shared build process for every application in the repo. There are two ways to run JavaScript in our browser. First, include a script for each individual functionality or file. This solution is hard to scale because loading too many scripts can cause a network bottleneck, right? Second option is to create a big giant JS file and move the entire JS logic in this single file, right? But this leads to problems in scope, size, readability, and maintainability. With Webpack, you can resolve both of these problems. Webpack recursively builds a dependency graph that includes every modules of your application needs that bundles all of these modules into a smaller number of bundle, often only one bundle for JS, one JS file for CSS, for all CSS, one CSS file. And this single file is loaded by the browser. 